Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm here to show you how to get the best Camtasia 8 recording settings. So go ahead and make your way to the video that you want to uh, put into Camtasia and add it in there. So, you've done that. Now you need to make sure that you have the program QuickTime Movie installed on your computer. Without this, you will, you will not be able to render the, uh, the file into a high quality MOV file. So you've got that all done, you added it in there, you have QuickTime installed. Go ahead and click on the zoom in pen and uh, as you can see the video will have these, uh, these black markers on the side. What you want to do is as you can see there are two uh, bubbles on the left and right hand side of the video screen. Go ahead and stretch them stretch them to the uh, block or cover the black markers and as you can see it covers the entire uh, block here and the video is now full screen so you've got that done go ahead and click on produce and share and click on the area open up the drop down menu click on add edit preset and click on new so change the preset name to whatever you would like. In this case, I'm just going to have it set to my name, which is Ian, and change the file format to MOV. Click on Next, and QuickTime Options, get that open, and more settings windows should appear. So go ahead and click on Settings, and that will open up the standard video compression settings uh, editing page. So go ahead and change the compression type to H.264 if it's not already on there. You want to have the uh, the keyframe, uh, the frame rate to 30, and you want to have the keyframe set to every at uh, 30 frames, and you also want to have the compressor compressor quality set to best, and also have the encoding set to best quality multi pass and you don't have to worry about data rate. So go ahead and click on OK. Click on the size tab and for dimensions change current to 1280 by 720 and again you don't have to worry about these boxes so go ahead and click on OK. Make your way to the sound settings and the compressor type should be MPEG-4 low complexity AAC change the rate to uh, 48,000 and have it on 16-bit stereo. So go ahead and click on OK. Click on OK to edit, exit the movie settings uh, box and click on Next and have the custom size set to 1280 by 720. Click on Next. This will take you to the watermark page. This is if you want a watermark on your Camtasia video. So if you don't want to, if if you don't want one, just skip this. If you do want one, spend your time here and edit your own watermark. But when you're done, go ahead and click on finish, and it'll give you a brief uh, preset information about the preset you just created. And go ahead and click on OK, uh, click on a close, and open up the uh, the drop down menu again and find your preset that you just created as you can see it says dimensions 1280 by 720 with a file format of QuickTime Movie file so go ahead and click on OK and name the uh, the name of the video so I'm gonna change it to Ian Vid just for the purpose of the video and go ahead and click on finish and the video will render now depending on how big that uh, the video file is that you want to render that'll determine how long the project will take to uh, finish render it could take anywhere from a few seconds to a few minutes to render so thanks for watching be sure to like and subscribe to my video